What's up guys? I'm a little bit sad and angry today. Well, little bit is understatement. I'm very angry today. I have been working on this video for the last two days. I really wanted to do it properly. I was doing some deep investigations on this. I was trying to make it so that I don't show anything bad on the video that would have negative consequences in the game. But I also did some deep deep research and I, I uncovered some things. I was trying to get Plarium approval and do everything the right way. I was like, like um, dotting my I's and crossing my T's. I was trying to do it super properly. And during my investigation, I did a massive mistake. I was trying to get some information from Sap's perspective, since he works on the Hell Hades optimizer. And I wasn't expecting that he would like rat on me, use the content, make their own video about it without Parium approval and show the actual cheat uh, engine or the program, give it to everybody so everybody knows it. In my original video, I wasn't gonna even show the name of the hack or the program. But when I was talking with Plarium and I was waiting for their approval for like a day, they told me they don't even want to show want me to show the picture in the video, but I wasn't gonna show the name in the first place. But I sent this picture to Sap in along when doing my investigation. And of course they made a video about it. They showed the name. Now everybody knows the program. So it's all screwed and now I might as well make a proper video and show all of the stuff that I luckily didn't give Sap because he probably would have gotten my informant banned if I showed him actual clip of the bot. But at this point, everybody knows the game name of the bot, so I might as well give you the full story, which you didn't get on Hell Hades video, because, uh, because they didn't actually do any investigation on this. They only took what I told them and then made a video about that. You can tell I'm very mad. Probably it's not Hell Hades fault. It's probably, probably only Sap's fault, but I took my time on this, I was trying to do it properly, and then they screwed over the game by releasing the name of the program, and then they screwed me personally. So I'm very pissed about it, I'll show you all of the receipts, I'll show you how this thing works, and I'll talk about the ban wave and so on. I have a lot of inside information that El Hades didn't have on his video, because again, he didn't talk to anybody that has used this bot, he only used the picture that I sent to Sap when I was trying to get Sap's uh, take on this thing. But let me just quickly show you that I'm not like, you know, making this up. And obviously they can make their own videos about stuff. It's not like I have some copyright on my video ideas. But again, they didn't get Plarium approval. They didn't just show the app on the video, but they actually showed the name of the app and they went like full ham. If I did this, I probably would have gotten banned, but since Hell Hades made a video about it, now everybody knows anyway, and I'm just gonna, gonna go full scores to Earth and show everything, because the damage has already been done, and so many people are gonna download this bot, and me showing the bot is not gonna make any difference anymore. But just to give you receipts, so this is the picture that um, Hell Hades shows in his video, then I'll get into the actual part of it, but I want to get this Hell Hades drama first sorted out, so it's completely clear that I'm not making this up and they screwed me. But, um, so Hell Hades shows this picture on this video, and this is the picture that I sent to Sap. We can know it exactly because it's a picture from phone where you show the program, so I mean, I don't even need to blur it because everybody already knows about it. Thanks, Hell Hades, but this picture was sent me by one of my viewers who has used this bot and told me the entire story about it and said himself that he got banned for this and he thinks that this ban wave that has recently happened is people using this bot. Some of them might be false positives, we don't know, but we're pretty sure that it's probably in relation to this bot and its use, which is basically like a hack on RAID on phone. It's like a cheat engine with better UI, so it's easier to use on phone. Again, don't use this, I don't recommend using this, I would not have shown this on the video, especially not the name, but I wouldn't have 
even shown the picture of it since Plarium told me not to, after I waited for a day when I asked, when I was doing, like, trying to do this proper way and not try to get the best clickbait that I could have. I didn't want to get in trouble, I didn't want to hurt the game, but the damage has already been done. So this is the picture that you have on Hellhades video. You can see the timestamp time stamp and the picture. Again, I'm a little bit hyped up because I'm super pissed about this. Here's the picture when I sent it to Zap. This is not a Google image, they didn't take this picture themselves. This is an image that a viewer of mine sent to me when he was trying to help me uncover this story. So there's like no dispute that this is the picture that I sent to Zap. Zap didn't give me any insight about their opinion on this. They just, you know, made their own video about this without telling me, without asking me anything about it. They didn't ask any additional questions because there's actually a lot of things that Hellhades didn't talk about on his video because, again, they didn't investigate on it. So yeah, there you go. There's full proof. I'm super mad. I'll show you some other pictures in a second. But okay, let me show this picture. So... Just to clarify, this is with the guy that I was talking about, who was telling me about the program, and I'll tell about the details later, but you can just see that this is the picture that he sent me way before Hellhades made his video, like two days before, because I was keeping this information, I was trying to do it properly, I didn't want to cause any harm, and I didn't want to get, uh, I didn't want to get Plarium mad at me, but at this point it doesn't matter. So let's quickly take a look at the part of Hell Hades video and get, get a little bit of the reason why I'm especially mad at him. I just wanted to share my insights. Also, uh, let people know that I've been doing a ton of digging on this because... Again, ton of digging, you will see again, he doesn't have any of the details that I tell you later on in the video. He just has that one picture, didn't do any digging, just told my content. Um, I guess one of the things which we pride ourselves on at HH Gaming is like honesty and integrity. In fact, almost every time we're, we're thinking about releasing like a feature or something, you know, one of the things that, that Fiction and I look at... Okay, so honesty and integrity, that's why they show the name of the program on the video and they just, you know, go and get the video from me. Again, fair enough, there's no like copyright on it. It's not like I can... It's not like I can copyright the content, but it was a massive, massive douche move to like do it without telling me, without like anything. It's kind of like, uh, you know, I feel wronged here, but the worst part, I mean, you guys shouldn't be mad that I got screwed. I'm mad about it. I get it. I'm emotional. I don't really own the content and so on. What I'm most mad about and what you should be mad about is that he's actually showing the name of the program. Again, it's completely pointless for me to blur it at this point because he already showed it i definitely would not have done it otherwise but damage is done but as you can see the only information that he has is the picture that sap got from me he didn't give me any comment when i asked about it they didn't ask me any additional questions about the program or anything like that they just you know did the video for clickbait content what i would have done too but i wouldn't have you know, stolen the video from somebody else that was making it and I wouldn't have shown the name of the program and I wasn't even gonna show the name or I wasn't even gonna show a picture about the program without the name because Plarium asked me not to. They didn't explicitly say that I can't do it but they said that they would rather I didn't but it's already out there so I'm, I'm gonna come with my part of the story. So let's actually get into the <laughs> meat and potatoes of things, since I got the drama out of the way. I mean, like I said, I probably sound very mad. I am. It is what it is. So what's the actual story here? So this is what my viewer told me, and let's go through all of it. I mean, there was a lot of other discussion. We're not going to go through everything, but I'll show you how a clip of the program, and I'll show you our discussions. So the start of the banning wave came about because of a pirated version of Raid. The pirated version allows people to change the speed up to 20x the normal speed. You can later see that actually you can do more than 20x speed. It's basically like a cheat engine, but with 
UI and as a phone app instead of a separate program. It's like built into the hacked version of RAID. Also allows you to have a custom auto clicker so you don't use your multi battles. This might be the thing that many people were doing that were kind of saying that they didn't use any speed and cheat engine or any kind of increased speed and that they don't need it, even though it makes it a lot convenient and so on. But basically it has kind of the ARP stuff, uh, aerosol helper in it that you can do auto content with increased speed at the same time. So it's super practical. Again, don't do it. Parium is trying to fix it. You might get banned for it. Some people might get false positives and banned because other people are doing it. I don't know, but I'm giving benefit of the doubt for those people that um, Plarium said that they got banned from malware and cheating, but they themselves dispute that. It could be that all of them are wrong. It could be that some of them didn't do it. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. And you shouldn't, like, nobody can know except those people and maybe Plarium, but I don't know if even Plarium can really know, to be honest. The worst part is the app will allow you to we've offset the app runs on which gives you the ability to adjust any setting in the game this is basically what cheat engine does you just you can type numbers into the code and adjust it it's a lot more complicated this was made for phone use cheat engine is like an old tool that hackers used not even like hackers hackers but let's say kids used to hack some games and get access to the premium content and that kind of stuff. It's been out there for decades. I think uh, I'm 30. I think I used Cheat Engine when I was like maybe eight year old to get like membership version of a, a old game called Dragon Fable. Maybe somebody knows. It doesn't really give you any advantage in that game, but you could get the premium version of the game without paying for it. And when I was eight years old, my mom wouldn't pay for anything on the internet, so I had to resort those things. I have never used it in Raid, I think, I, I definitely have never used it outside of like Dragon Fable like 20 years ago, but this program has been forever. The program that is now in dispute is not Cheat Engine, but clearly works exactly like it. Then I asked him that do you have a link to this program, and then he's telling that you can download the pirated version, which is basically like a hacked Act raid that does everything in one, I guess. And then he's giving me a heads up that um, there's going to be malware and it's a hacking site and I should be careful and so on. Okay, so let's play a clip of the program so you can actually see how it looks in practice, what kind of error message you get when you run it very fast, and how OP it is. Again, I would have not shown this at all, but at this point, People know the name of the program, so it's completely pointless at this point to try to hide it. Like I said before, my viewer did get banned on an account. I think he has another one. I'm not sure which one this is, but I'm just gonna blur the name. I don't want to give him any troubles after this. I mean, he's already trying to bring some information about this to the public and try to get it fixed. So somebody's gonna hate me that I should show his name, but I'm definitely not gonna do that and thank god I didn't show the original key clip to Zap because they might have played this on their video and I would have felt super bad about it but thankfully I only showed that one picture to Zap. So he's running it at 50 speed right now, it's not an n 2 speed, this is like insanely fast and as you can see we don't even get the battle animations, it's just like lagging and the character is kind of passing out there and then it's auto completed and I told this in my last video that sometimes you get the error message on Hydra that um, okay let's see this part but if you do it too fast then it tells you that you need to restart the game and there was error or something like that and we get some kind of error like this here as well the battle was too fast note this battle won't be I think affecting your score the resource you need to start this battle I don't know what's the word there, won't, will be returned to account after relogging. And then if you look at the script, it kind of says some kind of file name or script name here. And it says something like, um, client login exception 
battle cheat engine tool. So I don't know if that's another thing, but I think that's just that's some kind of anti-cheat engine script that they have made. And that's why it's displaying that error there. I guess it displays the errors, like you get this message when you get some kind of errors in this game. And this is probably cheat engine error, so that's why it's uh, named like that. Okay, so what does this bring us? Again, I'm not saying that everybody who got banned used this. I think some of them might got banned accidentally because other people use this. But clearly, cheating in RAID is still a problem. People kind of thought that cheat engine and the era of it was gone and buried. But clearly people are doing it still. I have no idea if the top people in Classic Arena are doing it. I mean, I would be shocked if some of them weren't. But obviously, they are not gonna speak up about it. They kind of used to be more public about it, like multiple years ago, as I mentioned in my other videos. Some people are, were even like publicly admitting it. Some people were only telling their friends about it, and some some of them <laughs> some of them leaked, and that's why we know about it. But probably even back then, there was many more that used it that we didn't find out. And it seems like there's a big wave of people using it right now, which kind of sucks. I don't know if this is the <laughs> this is the issue why it's been so hard lately to get high in. Platinum Arena, and it was with me and other people were telling me in DMs that they were very high rank at the end of the reset. Like, they were in like top 20 or top 50 with a couple minutes left, and then they finished like top 400 or gold 4. Kind of surprisingly. I mean, that might kind of sound out of the reach, but if it's like, let's say, let's say it's like 100 people doing that, or some amount of people doing it. It doesn't have to be thousands of people. If there's just some amount of people doing this, it's obviously gonna affect the game and other areas too, not just Platinum Arena. But I feel like Platinum Arena is probably compromised. It sucks. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not sure if Parium is gonna be happy about this video, but uh, again, th hopefully they can fix it somehow. Clearly they are trying to do it, to be fair. Let's give that to Plarium, that the ban wave clearly appears to be because they are trying to fix this issue, so good for them. The biggest issue is now that, maybe not the biggest issue, but now we have another issue that lots of people know the name of the bot. That sucks, I hope Plarium does something about it. Maybe they will do something about it with uh, bigger volume and faster, now that it's publicized, I think. That's pretty much what Hellhades said on his video. And that's what Stu and um, Bionic were kind of doing back in the day. Again, I don't support doing this using this uh, hack. Don't do it. I would never do it. Please don't do it. Don't download it. The website that you get it from is malicious. You might get some viruses on your computer and so on. I wouldn't trust like a hacking website. And I know I probably sounded very butthurt and angry and cringe on this video, but I totally felt like I was screwed in a couple ways. For my content, for the PvP that I like, I feel like Sap and Hellhades kind of screwed this one up, and I probably focused on them a little bit too much on this video, other than the actual story. This video was just gonna be about the actual story, but now the story kind of, <laughs> kind of turned out to be them. If you think I'm a jerk, then feel free to say it in comments. I know I don't own the copyright of the content and so on. And like, what did I expect to like give that information to other people that make videos? And next time I'll be careful. I'll give benefit of the doubt that it probably was only Saps doing and probably Hell Hades didn't even know about it. But I do feel like it was a massive douche move. I feel, I feel kind of wronged, kind of feel like giving a middle finger to Hell Hades and Sap for the content and for the release of this hack. But yeah, we're kind of gonna end this negative video on sad thoughts. I hope the name of the bot getting out there is not gonna have massive implications. I think it probably will. Don't use it. I hope Larium can do something about it.
it is what it is. Anyway, that's all I had to say on this video. Have a nice day and see ya.